What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out on the Regulation D ladder with a Regilecki and Reggie Draco team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, what are you doing? Click that big red subscribe button, join the Jeans community. But this team right here features other strong Pokemon like Urshfu and Tornadus. Tornadus is going to be the main support Pokemon on this team. And then we also have Fluttermane and my all-time favorite, not all-time, one of my all-time favorites, I should say, for Rigoraf. Regilecki is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview. Rock and Transistor as its ability with the Life Orb as its item, so it can do some crazy damage. It also has a normal Terror type with Explosion, Wild Charge, E-Web, and Protect. Next to him is going to be his cousin, Reggie Draco over here with Dragon Small and the Dragon Fang. It has Dragon Energy, Dragon Pulse, Earth Power, and Protect with that Steel Terror type. In our third slot is going to be Tornadus. And like I said, Tornadus is pretty much that Pokemon that gels his team together. It goes perfectly with any of these Pokemon and it really makes his team whole. It has Prankster with the Citrus Berry. It is also rocking the Ghost Terror type in case you want to go into, into Explosion with Regilecki. So it actually works out pretty well. But then you got Bleak Windstorm, Rain Dance, Scary Face, and Tailwind. We got Urshfu in our fourth slot. And Urshfu, just like Fluttermane, is one of those Pokemon that can really go on any team. Urshfu's got the Unseen Fist, the Water Terror type, Safety Goggles, then Certain Strikes, Close Combat, Aqua Jet, and Detect. In our fifth slot is Fluttermane. And this Fluttermane's Rock and Photosynthesis with the Focus Ash. It also has Shadow Ball, Moon Blast, Dazzy Gleam, and it is Rock and Trick Room on its own. We got Frigoraph in the final spot, and Frigoraph's got the Armor Tail to stop first turn priority, and has the Throat Spray as its item. So we got Hyper Voice as one of its moves. Whenever it uses that move, it will get a plus one special attack boost due to its item Throat Spray. Then you can start doing some big time damage from there on. It also has Psy Shock, Helping Hand, and Trickling for its final move. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right hand corner. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that Regulation D ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Regilecki and Reggie Draco Regulation D team. We're hopping into match number one, and we're going up against a pretty cool team. They got Miyasuka Rada on it, alongside with Cerule Edge, Talonflame, Farigraph, Abomasto, and Grimmsnarl. So, Pokemon that I want to watch out for is going to be Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl's probably just there for support. Going to be annoying when he sets up the screens, though. So, how should I play this one? Who should I go into? Definitely Urshfu is going to be top tier. It's going to be super effective onto a lot of these Pokemon. Close combat will be super effective onto... The Miyasuka Rada will be super effective onto the Obama Snow. It will also be super effective. Actually, it's neutral onto uh, Grimstraw. But it's also super effective onto Frigor Ramp and then Cerule Edge and Talonflame with the water. So Urshfu is definitely coming in here. We might just go Tornado's Urshfu. Right? That could be pretty good for us. That could be pretty decent for us. I wonder. Because if they can leave Miyasuka Rada, then that's a little bit of a problem. But you know, I'm going to go there and I might either go Reggie Draco or Regilecki. Hmm. I'm leaning more towards Regilecki, just because that Pokemon is a bit faster. So we'll go there. We will bring Urshfu in the back end. And then last but not least, let's rock out with the Fluttermane. Good old Fluttermane, right? Speed's probably pretty high. Yeah, 164. Special attack's actually bulking. Going crazy. And this defense set is not bad. So I'm all about going to a Fluttermane. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look grab a surface and win here in match number one. But yeah, Urshfu, as long as I can get some speed control here, and hopefully they're not popping Tailwind with us, as long as Urshfu's one of the fastest on the field, we should have no problem just cleaning up a lot of the Pokemon with just the Urshfu. But I have it as a nice little back-end Pokemon. We're trying to get the lead with our fast Pokemon. The Talonflame Grimstrong comes out here. No problem. I don't mind. I don't mind. And I think we might just go Tailwind for Tailwind here. Good Gale Wings me, which is kind of scary. But um, from here, I think we're just going to Bleak Wind Storm turn one. I just e web. I'll tail one next turn. I will definitely tail one next turn. So I feel as if they're gonna set up a tail one here, we can set it up next turn and get off some free shots. Considering we do have prankster, and then later in the game we will have an extra turn of tail one, which is gonna definitely benefit us. It ends up withdrawing tail one. That's cool. That's fine with me. Who are you gonna go into? It's a real question. You're gonna go in the frig raft. That's fine. I'm chilling with that. We're not setting up the tail one. We're just not setting up the tail one. Light screen is gonna come out here. That is going to be annoying. We hate that. We hate that. E-Web's flying, doing about 5 damage each, but lowering speed. So chances are they could pop a trick room, but we can just keep attacking at this point. I'm orbed. I am like, so Bleak Wind Storm's going to come out here. I might set rain. Do get a nice little chunk up on some damage and another speed drop, which we love. Another lovely speed drop. 
So from here, I think we just bleak wind storm yet again because they're probably not going to KO us. And we will just go into a wild charge into the fruit graph slot. Yeah, I'm all about it. Let's try to do as much damage as we can. So parting shot comes out here. Smart play. And they're going to probably pop a trick room, right? It makes the most sense just to pop a trick room. But that's just fair. Makes the most sense. I can always scary face uh, one of my Pokemon, which could work out really, really well. But Cerulean's really gonna come out here and while Charge getting cooking, how much damage is that gonna do? A decent amount. Can you KO with this Bleakwind Storm? I will love you forever. If you KO with this Bleakwind Storm, come on, Tornadus. Come on, Tornadus. Let's go. That's a big time KO. That's a massive KO. It's a massive KO. So they do not pop triple. That's huge. That's huge. So we did end up party shotting into me. I might hard swap out. The bunch of at this point. But Talonflame is now going to come out here. And so from here, I'm just going to pop yet another Bleakwind Storm. Actually, let's set up a Rain Dance here. They collect some of the fire damage if anything's coming out here. So I'll go Rain Dance here. And I will just go for... Uh, I'll just go for a Wild Charge. I know I'm minus one, but still, nice chunk of damage could be huge for us. Could be lovely. So we'll see a Terra come out here from, hopefully, Serene Wedge. The chance are it's Talonflame. I know it is Serene Wedge. Going into the fire type. It's going straight fire type. Looking to do some big time damage. Good thing we are setting up the rain dance to make like any fire damage coming in here. Beautiful. Beautiful. And this thing's just setting up a tailwind. Cool. The tailwind comes out here. We're going to pop a nice little rain dance. And then I'll set up a tailwind next turn. So, like I said, we didn't need tailwind until they popped tailwind. So that's why I was waiting for so long to actually use it. The bitter blade comes out here. Much like he should be able to soak that. It does on three. On three. Thanks to the rain. I'm going to die to Recall, which actually works out perfectly, because now I can bring out Urshifu, set up the Tailwind, and kind of have some nice speed from there. So Wild Charge gets cooking here. How much damage is this doing? It's KO. Imagine like he's hitting like a god. Like an absolute god. So get it on out of here. Talonflame drops out. Imagine like he dies out. They, all, they only have Grimstar left, and they have Cerule Edge. Everything is working out pretty dandy here, because like I said, now I can just bring out Urshifu. Pretty much clean up this match. If they want to set up a reflect, it really is not going to do anything because certain strike is going to crit every single time. And I just pop a tailwind just to match this tailwind speed, kind of get after it. And pro plus, Cerule Edge cannot protect because Urshfu is just going to hit right through it. Awesome, dope. This one's pretty much on lock. Lock it down. Lock it down. I mean, he could parting shot into me, but again, it's not going to do anything because we crit so much. You're, you actually outspeed me, but the rain's just neglecting a lot of the damage. Better Blade's going to come in hot here. Doesn't even do half to us, and I would say bye-bye. Bye-bye to Cerule Edge. Get it on out my face. I'm sick of it. Yeah, sorry, he's probably going for a spirit break that won't even KO me. But one surge of strikes KO <laughs> Cerule Edge. That's so funny. I wish I, it would be OP, but I wish after he KO'd that one, it would slide over and hit the other opponent. That would be OP. That really would be. But Cerule Edge drops out here. Probably a spirit break coming in here. Yeah, that's probably not going to KO us. And yeah, we win this match all day. No problem. Did we even use Terra? I don't even think we used Terra. Yeah, we didn't We didn't even use uh, Terra. Mirror, Bleak Wind Storm, Surgeon Strikes. Good game, good game. Battle was canceled. What a good start for today's video, sitting at 1-0. We're hopping into our second match now. We're versus Shen Pao. Shen Pao, always a great Pokemon. They also have Iron Hands, another great Pokemon. Rillaboom, Gyarados, Fluttermane, and last but not least, they do have Heatran. Heatran is all around very powerful. Very, very powerful. I could go Reggie Draco here, which I'm kind of lean towards, but they have a lot of fake out users, which is a slight issue. It is a slight issue. Making me want to lead Pokemon like Frigraph, right? Frigraph could be great, especially with all the speed on their team. I could go Frigraph, maybe just pop a Trick Room. And go from there, but I definitely like Ferrigraph here. Oh, Ferrigraph. If I could go Ferrigraph, I could go in with Urshifu. Um, definitely want to leave Ferrigraph, so I'm going to click that. Um, do I want to go in with Reggie Draco instead? Ferrigraph, Reggie Draco? Hmm, maybe. At that point, they just outspeed me. Hmm. It depends who they go into. But yeah, definitely want to go Ferrigraph. I am going to go in with... Urshifu? Yeah, we're gonna go... No, we're gonna go Fluttermane here. And then I'm gonna go Urshifu and Regilecki. Lock it in. Lock it in. 
Let's go. We won't use Reggie Draco in this match. Hopefully, we can use it in the next battle. But I really wanted to go into uh, Tornadus and Reggie Draco, but with the amount of fake out users on the field right now, it's just really tough. But it's just too tough. I didn't want to hop in there with both of them. They just have a fake out user and then kind of just go from there. But I probably could have just protected it and then try to get after it next turn, you know? Which probably would have been a play. But Shen Pao Fluttermane come out here. Okay. Shen Pao and Fluttermane. I'm thinking of just popping trick. I'm thinking of just popping trick. Maybe with Fluttermane. I wish I had protect on this Fluttermane. Of course, this Fluttermane does not protect. I think it's a speed boost. We definitely want to pop a nice little trick. So I'm going to go trick him here. And... Do I just hard swap? No. I don't I don't like that. I don't have protect. I do have focus ash, which is absolutely lovely. So I'm just going to stay my type. And I'm just going to go into a shadow ball into the Fluttermane slot. So we'll see a Terra come out here. Hopefully it's Chen Pao, but chances are it's Fluttermane, right? Yeah, of course. Fluttermane's going into fairy typing. And it's going to neutralize some of the shadow ball damage. Hurts the soul. I was gonna do the same, but we do have lovely little focus dash. So if they're going Shadow Ball into me, I can soak that up. But no, we're just looking to go for Moon Blast. Moon Blast. Oh, yo, chill on my Friggies. Chill on my Friggies. Chill on my Friggies. He gets a special attack drop. Crunch is coming here. And that hurts. That really hurts. They double down and just wiped me out. It just wiped me out. So Friggy goes out. Not a good day to be a Friggy. And now from here, dude, just going to like, cause we gotta, we gotta get off Trick Room. I have Focus Ash. I'm thinking of just detecting with you. Y'all gotta go Earth Room. I'm just gonna detect. Hopefully they attack me and then uh, get off this Trick Room. Be massive. A little bit of Trick Room action. Let's try it. We, we need to get off Trick Room. I'm surprised they double down for a graph like that. Really, really surprised at that. So from here, Moon Blast does come into that slot. That's lovely, and we're guaranteeing us getting off Trick Room. Hopefully, they double down into that slot. I doubt it, though. They do, or they just miss. I dodged it. Beautiful. So now, now look where we're at. Now look where we're at. Cool. I like this. I like this. So we got Trick Room out and about. Surge and Strike is going to be your best friend, so I'm going to Surge and Strike to this slot. And I'm just going to throw a Moon Blast into this slot, because I don't believe a Sucker Punch will actually KO us. Like I said, Circuit Punch is not KO on us. Surgeon Strikes in the cooking here, and that's going to take him out. And we'll go from there. Um, I can Aqua Jet that, uh, that Shen Pao next turn, just so his Sucker Punch doesn't come out here. Which could be good for us. So we get rid of the Flutter Main. Coming in hot here with the Moon Bus. We still have Regilecki, but we kind of want to waste out some Trick Room Turns at this point. Because Regilecki is obviously going to be one of the fastest on the field. So this thing sashes up. Like I said, I can hit it with Aqua Jet, which I'm probably going to do. And I really wish this Fluttermane had Protect. I really wish it, he had Protect. And a Fake Out's potentially coming out here. And watch this. Watch this play. This is going to be your play. We're going to do this, and he's probably just going to Sucker Punch it, and we're just going to Reverse Trick him. He's, he's definitely faking me out. Yeah, and you're going for Sucker Punch, right? Yeah, and we're just going to reverse Trick Room. I'm all about it. I'm all I'm all about it. I'm making these plays. I'm making these plays. I'm making these plays. So we're going to reverse Trick Room, just so Iron Hands is in the Trick Room. It will work to us. And from here, I really want to tear it just certain strikes. This is, this is, this is tough. This is tough. This is real tough. How much damage do we think we're going to do? Because we have to get off some big time damage or, or we lose this game. I'd say we swap. I like to swap play. Definitely like to swap play. He's definitely going to suck a punch again. Which is just terrifying. Actually, he might not now that we reverse trick him. It's, it's just tough. It's real tough here. It's brutal out here. We're trying to make some good plays. So I'm going to Terrasilize here. I got to look to get off some big time damage. Maybe I should have just Aqua Jet that thing. But he's going for a wild charge into me. So we go for Sucker Punch again. Oh, we love it. We love making these reads. So Shen Pao is just out here struggling at this point. How much damage is certain strikes going to be? Can we KO with the Terror type? 
No, we're not going to be able to. So, Urshfu is now going to die. But the damage is massive. Can you miss your wild charge, please? And thank you. You might die to recoil, which that could be big. That could be big if you die to recoil. I wouldn't mind if you die to recoil. Can you die to recoil? You did 205 damage to me. It's going to live on like one, I believe. And I'm going to be upset. One. Ex that's exactly one HP. That is exactly one HP. Okay. That is wild. Blasphemy, I should say. Look at these guys. That's one HP. Did we know their final Pokemon? We don't. And I'm hoping it's Gary the Gyarados, right? We're hoping it's Gary the Gyarados. At this point, we're going to go Dazzle and Gleam. We're going to go E-Web. And we're going to go from there. Hopefully he doesn't suck a punch. Because if he doesn't suck a punch, we pick up the double KO with E-Web, which would just be huge. We were playing mind games with this dude. With, or on his Shen Pao. But that hurts. He lives on one HP. And he ends up protecting. Which I don't... I don't mind. Now would have been the time to sucker punch. But you didn't. You blew it. You blew it. Mind games. Now I'm going to pop a trick him depending on who they pull out here, which would be hilarious. That'd be so fun. Let's see who they're going to. Let's see who they're going to. This is just a problem. We got Regilecki here. Um, hmm. Get... Gyarados comes out here. And did they Terra? They did. They terrestrialized the, uh... Oh, we love it. They terrestrialized the... What's it called already? They terrestrialized the, uh... The Fluttermane already. Yo, so good place for us so far. We might have... I don't know. I was gonna say, we might have clutched up this game. But he's gonna have to Sucker Punch. I feel like he has to Sucker Punch my... Reggie Lucky, right? No, he's gonna get, he's gonna go finish off my Fluttermane, which I don't mind. I don't think Gyarados can one-shot us with Waterfall. I am gonna take some Life Orb damage, which kind of sucks. How much damage is he gonna do? It's gonna put it in the red. And I gotta eat up a Waterfall. I gotta eat up a Waterfall. And Reggie Lucky's a Lightweight. So we're gonna take some Life Orb damage here. I don't like that. Can you eat up this Waterfall? Please, thank you. Citrus Berry, I'm not worried about. I'm not worried about you, Citrus Berry. I, I just need to hit you with one more. I just gotta eat up a waterfall. Can you eat up this waterfall? You're the man, Reggie. You are the man. You are the man. Is he web? It's not 100%. It's 95 accuracy. We're going for wild charge. We're going for wild charge. Wild charge comes out here. Yo, what a second match, yo. Big brain plays, big brain swaps, big brain trick room reverses. Everything we did right there was perfect. Made a nice little comeback victory. We are 2 0. Let's go grab you guys a perfect record in match number three. Final match coming at you guys, and I would love to grab you guys a perfect record with this team. We're going up against Urshfu alongside with Tornadus. They're also rocking out with Arcanine, Fluttermane, Shen Pao, and last but not least, they do have Rillaboom. So I think Trick Room here would be our best bet, right? Because Reggie Draco, I wouldn't use Reggie Draco. I should have said that first. Reggie Draco is slower than all those Pokemon. So going into these two and potentially just protecting turn one and pop in trick room is our best bet so i'm gonna go in with them too in the back end with trick room i want you and i want Flutterman because Flutterman can always reverse trick room if he wanted so i'm cool with that i'm cool with that but we're two and oh and like i said i want these reggie draco in the third and final match that's what we're doing here hopefully we get the get that trick room off and just have that thing go for dragon balls doing some crazy damage we don't have the Dragon Terror, but still, it still hits like an absolute truck, especially at full HP. But it really depends who they lead, if we can pull, pull off this combo. We're going to try it. We're going to try it anyway. Tornadus comes out here and Fletcher me. Fletcher main and Tornadus. That's cool with me. That's cool with me. I'm going to pop the Trick Room. I'm just going to protect the... What's it called? The Reggie Draco, and then we'll go from there. The Trick Room. Bang. Protect. Bang. Let's do it. Hopefully they pop a Tailwind. I would really like the Tailwind. But again, my Pokemon are, these two Pokemon are slower than others. So we protect the Reggie, who's actually massive. Kind of looks small, and he's making a good lead on to me. I don't think Bleak Windstorm will KO me, but I think we're fine. Can you miss? Can you miss? No, you don't miss. Can you? You should eat that, right? 6 HP. I love you, Ferrigi. That's why Ferrigi's the GOAT. The GOAT. Good old Friggy. 
get Farigi with it, baby. Love this Pokemon. So that happens. And now from here, I think we just Psy Shock with Terra. We should pop a Dragon Energy. We get a Fluttermane stays in here. I mean, that's fine. Especially with the Terra, it's not going to do crazy damage. We get off another Dragon Ball next turn. We'll just go from there. We don't mind. I wish I had Terra Blast. If I had Terra Blast, I would light that thing up right now. I would light it up. That's why most of the time I like to have Terra Blast instead of Earth Power, but Earth Power does come clutch. The Fluttermane ends up protecting. That's fine. Can Dragon Ball just KO uh, Bunatus? That would be, be lovely. be a beautiful sight to see. The Dragon Energy comes out here. It does. That's a beautiful sight. We like that. We like that a lot. So cool. Dragon Energy is cooking. It's cooking. So now they're probably going to bring out a Pokemon with like first turn priority. I would say probably like Urshifu would be the call. But I still feel as I drop. Oh, Rillaboom's going to come out here. You can't fake me out. That kind of sucks. You're probably going to die. We're not dealing with you. We're not dealing with you. Actually, you might be slower than... It might be slower than my boy. I'm still going to side shock this line. I'm still going to go for a uh, dragon energy. Because even if you do a little bit of damage to me, it can still hit decently hard. So I'm cool with it. I'm all about it. And I believe that Fluttermane did go boost our energy speed. My right back end Pokemon should be pretty solid. Plus, I got Focus Ash. got all this different stuff. Maybe I should have doubled down on Rilla. Nah, I think we're fine. We chillin'. We definitely chillin'. Let's see what our opponent ends up doing. I could see a hard soft in front of me. No, we do actually outspeed it, which kind of sucks. Because I'm going to take a nice chunk of damage there. Again, Dragon Energy still should be able to do a good chunk of damage to Rollaboom. Not going to KO it, but still, I like it better than Dragon Pulse. Look at that. Nice damage. Lovely. Lovely. Side shot coming in here. And how much damage is this? Though? A lot of damage. We like that. Shadow Ball is coming in this line. You're just giving Friggies another turn. You're giving one of my Pokemon another turn, which is huge. Give him one of my Pokemon another turn. So, Rillaboom's going to go first here. He's going to pick who he wants to KO. And I feel as from here, since I'm almost positive that thing is Booster Energy, we just double down the Rillaboom and we try to KO it, right? What's going to do more damage? Psy Shock or Hyper Voice? Hyper Voice actually does more damage. Should have been using Hyper Voice the whole time. I'm going to go Hyper Voice. I am going to go Dragon Pulse and I'm doubling down the Rillaboom. Considering Flutter Main might, main might even protect. And it does! does indeed indubitably it does and he's gonna u-turn oh how dare you turn how dare you u-turn so you keep the robot i really want to get rid of the robot who are you gonna go into that's the real question hopefully somebody is gonna take a big chunk of damage to reggie draco urshifu okay i believe reggie draco is slower than urshifu but you do have aqua jet there's still a dragon pulse coming out here and ko <laughs> Yo, he's just popping the KOs. We love it. We love it. We love it. We absolutely love it. So from here, I'm just going to go Urshifu. And he can figure out whoever he wants, right? And I think at this point, we double down the Flutter. I think we Aqua Jet in the Flutter. I mean, actually, we're already slow. Let's see what happens. Actually, I am going to Aqua Jet. I want the first time priority. I think that can KO. And then at this point, we'll just Dragon Pulse into the Rillaboom. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Because I don't want me just going for like a Surgeon Strikes. And then Rolling going for a Wood Hammer. And to me, I'd rather get off Aqua Jet. Because I'm almost certain that Aqua Jet can KO here. End up faking me out. That's fine. It's actually not fine. Is it fine? How should I feel about that? That was actually maybe a dumb play. We get rid of Rollaboom. And I have Flutter made up of my own with Focus Ash, so yeah, we're, this is fine. That's fine. You go for a Shadow Ball, and you're going Shadow Ball into this side. Okay, yeah, you just. That's. We're fine. We're chilling. That's gonna be 3 0. Don't need to worry about anything. We're crushed it today. Absolutely killed it. Absolutely mauled with this team. Melted teams left and right. Too easy. Trick Room is now gone. I can now go into Flutter Mane, who has Focus Ash, who cannot die in one shot. That's game, set, match. Beautiful place for us in, in today's video. So I'm going to go into Aqua Jet and I'll just go into a nice lovely Shadow Ball. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. <coughs> now comes a Terra. 
Let's all Terra. Probably going for a Fairy Terra and looking to double kill with Dazzle Gleam. Makes the most sense, but what he does know. Ooh, Grass, grass Terra. That's still fine. You can't you can't KO my Flutter. You simply cannot KO my Flutter. Aqua Jet is now going to be eatable. Oh, Grass Terra. And the Moon Blast is just going to take out Urshfield. And that's a dang shame because you left my Flutter main on the moon. Game, set, match. My Flutter main ain't missing the Shadow Ball. And there it is, yo. 3 and 0. Oh, we are too good on the rank ladder as of recently. Let's count them up, ladies and gentlemen. Not one, not two, but three victories with this team. A perfect record using Reggie Lucky and Reggie Draco on the rank ladder. This team was phenomenal. Everything about it was perfect. You have the Tornadas to pair up with everybody else. Urshfu and Flutter for that meta side. And then my boy for Rigor Ramp over here. Getting some work done in match number three. Popping the trick room and getting off some damage as well. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.